Factor number two that could be holding you back from achieving success in sales. You want to know what it is? Here you go. It's trust. Yep, when there is trust between you and the person that you're speaking with, they're more likely to listen to you and to want to meet you and to want to even do business with you. How do you build trust? I'll tell you in just a moment. Hi, this is Ramas Helu, uh, founder and keynote speaker of the Academy for Sales Excellence, where I simply speak at uh, different events and conferences and help teams uh, educate them on sales, inspire and motivate them so that they can sell more, sell faster and more profitably. So here we go. How do you build trust? Well, you got to have a relationship. If you don't have a direct relationship with someone, well, then uh, somebody else has it. And are you leveraging the relationship that others have? So here we go. It's the difference between making a cold call versus a warm call. I hate cold, cold calls. Actually, I had someone, I hate when financial institutions give me a call and want to sell me a credit card or want to sell me loans. Or I had a guy give me a call yesterday and he just gave me like a, I just love to listen to them, like a 15 or more like a 30 second speech. And he said, hi, this is so-and-so from blank, blank bank. And we're offering a free credit card for life. And it comes with this great uh, loan and it has this facility and da, da, da. He's like, so would you like this? I said, no. He was surprised. He thought, he's like, you don't want a free credit card? I was like, no, I don't need one. Okay. So anyway, that's the cold approach. That's not what we're talking about. So the thing is, if you keep using cold, then yeah, that could be holding you back. Now let's look at the warm approach. I had this one top professional who was having difficulties in contacting his clients because he was using the cold approach. Once he learned to use a name of a, of a friend, or someone that he knew with the other person, let me tell you what happened. He'd called that one client, top-notch executive with the company, and he told me, Ramiz, when I said hi to him, he was a little bit like, you know, who's this? And then when I said the name of the contact, so, so-and-so, you don't know me personally, but so-and-so referred me to you, he's like, you know, it's like, oh yeah, and whew, he melted. So, and then of course, got the appointments. So I wanna help you get more get more opportunities to be in front of clients. So there are two things you can do right now so that you can actually start building your warm list of prospects or warm contacts. So there are two types of warm contacts. There are close warm contacts. They're family, friends, relatives, right? You know what I'm talking about when you have a weekend, uh, you have a gathering, you have those people around you. And then you have the, um, uh, the, the, let's say, casual warm contacts, where they're friends of friends. You maybe have met several times. And if you meet them at the, at the party or an event that you'll say hi to them. And if you give them a call, say hi, this is so and so. They're like, oh yeah, Ram is what do you want? Because they know you. So today, if, you're, if you have this list or the, these contacts that you haven't actually made use of, how much money could you be uh, leaving out the drain? You could have a huge hole in your pocket, right? So, Two things, or actually one thing, pick up your phone right now. Pause this video, go get your phone. I'm gonna make you a couple of hundred thousand dollars just in a few seconds. Ready, go, if not millions. Come on, go, go, ready, here we go. Now look at your phone and go from A to Z and select top 10 warm, close contacts that you have. It could be family, friends, relatives, neighbors that you have very close relationship with and put their name and phone number on a piece of paper, old fashioned piece of paper, right? And then. People that you have casual uh, warm contacts so that you know of and you've met each other several times. And now simply give them a call and ask to meet with them. Now I promise you, people you know are not going to buy from you because they know you. But because they know you, they'll give you the time to sit with them and listen to what you have to say and possibly recommend you to their companies so that you can show their product or service to the right people so that they can make the right decision. And let me tell you, if you have a good product and service and you're not doing that, you simply are, are just leaving tons and tons of potential sitting uh, on the side. So until next time, sell more, sell faster, and sell more profitably.